Hello viewers, in this session we will discuss about admixture of concrete. You might have a question arise that what is admixture, where we can use admixture, in which properties of concrete effect by admixture and doses of the admixtures. So let us discuss the, all the question. Now what is admixture? Admixtures is one of the ingredients of the concrete mass other than the basic ingredients like cement, water, fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. Second question is where we can use admixture. We can use admixture as accelerators, as a retarders, as a pozzolanic admixture, as a waterproofing material. In these areas you can utilize the admixtures with changing the basic property of the concrete. And the third question is in which properties of concrete affect by the admixtures. Admixtures with the help of the admixtures you can change your workability. You can say the fresh property of the concrete mass, hardened property of the concrete mass and the durability of the concrete mass. You can improve your workability of the concrete mass. You can increase your strength of the concrete mass and you can increase your durability durability of the concrete mass with using of the admixtures. And the last question is doses of admixtures. The doses of admixtures, it depends upon the type of the admixtures and the different brand of the admixture and the requirement of the properties for your concrete work. This is a vary between the 0.05 to 2 to 2.5% by the weight of the cement. So let us discuss in detail. Purpose of using admixture. Which are the purposes for the admixtures? First one is to increase the strength of the concrete. For the high strength concrete you require the admixtures. Because in, without the admixtures you cannot get the higher workability as well as the strength of the concrete. So you can reach up to the I am 100 grade of the strength of the concrete mass of the compressive strength with using of the admixture. And the second one is to accelerate the initial setting time in the certain area like the repairing work other concreting work where the removal of the form work is urgent. So in that case you require the accelerate for the concrete mass and in that case we have to use the admixture. For example the repair work of the road work. In that case you have to allow the traffic for the use of the road work. In that case you have to do your construction fastly and removal of the form work is urgent. In that case the initial setting time you can decrease with using of the admixture. And the third one is to retard the initial setting of the concrete. This is the opposite of the accelerators because in case of the ready mix concrete we are manufacturing of the concrete and the, our existing site is far away from the manufacture of the concrete mass. In that case we require the certain time duration for the transportation and it is possible only with using of the admixtures. Ready mix concrete is in the ready mix concrete we are using the retarder for the retard the initial setting time of the concrete for the transportation duration. And the next one is to improve the workability of concrete. You can increase your workability of the concrete with using of the admixtures. And to increase the durability of concrete. You can also enhance the durability of the concrete with using of the admixture. And 
to reduce the heat of the hydration. As we know, the, in the mass construction work, the heat of the hydration is produced the highly and in that case, we have to, to lower the temperature with using of the admixtures. And next one is to make the lightweight concrete. It is also possible to reduce the dead load of the construction with using of the admixture. With the decreasing of the dead load, you can decrease your size of the element and your construction will be economic. And the next one is to reduce the permeability of concrete. It is also possible to reduce the permeability of the concrete with using of the admixture. So these all are the purposes of the admixture and you can get the benefits with the using of admixture. Now let us discuss about purposes to control the alkali aggregate expansion. In some aggregates contain the silica and in some aggregates react with alkali and in that case the alkali aggregate expansion happen and you can reduce this aggregate this expansion with using of the admixture and to increase the resistance to the sulfate added with using of the admixture and you can also increase the bond between the old concrete and the new concrete it is possible with use only admixture and you can also increase the bond between concrete and steel reinforcement. As we know, the RCC structure is developing day by day in the high rise building and the other structure site. So in that case, bonding, you can increase the bonding with using of the admixtures in the RCC element. See, so these all are the purpose of the admixture. You can get the benefit with using of these admixtures. And you can also reduce the segregation and the bleeding of concrete. In the some case, we are facing the problem regarding the segregation and the bleeding. What is segregation? Segregation is separating out of the ingredients of the material from the concrete mass. And the bleeding is separating out of the water from the concrete mass. And you can reduce this segregation and the bleeding with using of the Admixture because with the adding of the admixture you will get the higher workability and you can reduce the segregation and blading and to produce the color concrete or mortar so these all are the purposes of using of the admixture now let us discuss about classification of admixture depending upon the requirement of the site and the properties you can use the different types of the admixture and the different type of the admixture are available in the different brands and in that case there will be doses will be different first one is accelerating admixtures it is also known as accelerators for example if we want to decrease the initial setting time of the concrete in that case we will use the accelerating admixtures Second one is retarding admixtures. It is also known as a retarders. You can increase the initial setting time for the allowing the transportation of the concrete from the manufacturer to the, our existing site. We have already discussed about ready mix concrete and in that case we are using this type of the admixture which is known as a retarders. And in the repair work of the road work in that case the form work is removed in the short duration and and allow to traffic of the pavement so in that case we will use the accelerators and next one is water reducing admixtures and this is the workability admixture you can enhance the workability of the concrete mass and next one is air entraining admixtures you can use the air entering admixtures to enhance the workability of the concrete mass. This will be beneficial for the fresh property of the concrete. And next one is superplasticizing admixture. This is the high reducer superplasticizer and it reduces the water demand up to the 30 percentage and then 
you can get the higher workability as well as the strength of the concrete mass. Next one is pozzolana admixture. Next one is grouting admixtures, waterproofing admixtures, air entering admixtures, and bonding admixtures. You can increase the bonding like steel and the reinforcement in the RCC elements. So these are the admixtures you can use in particular site for the fulfilling particular requirement of your existing site. Now let us discuss about accelerating admixtures which is also known as accelerators. You can see on your screen this is the one of the accelerators and accelerators are added to concrete to accelerate the setting and hardening of the concrete. I would like to explain you one important point that the accelerators is not accelerating only setting time. It's also accelerate the hardening of the concrete. It sets fast with the hardening of the concrete will be fast. So the hardening and the setting time both are accelerating with the help of the accelerators or you can say accelerating admixtures. And the most of the commonly used the accelerators is calcium chloride. And when it is the under normal conditions in regular its amount 2% by the weight of the cement and it reduced the initial setting time from the approximately 3 hours to 1 hours and the final setting time is approximately 6 hours to 2 hours in the normal temperature like 21 degree celsius temperature so you can imagine that the decreasing of the initial time is decreasing with the three hours to one hours and the final setting time is decreasing from the six hours to the two hours so now discuss about the advantages of the accelerators first one is earlier remover of the foam bugs so if you are working the road repairing work and in that case you have to allow the traffic and uh, allow to use the pavement for the particular area. So in that case the accelerator will be beneficial for the fast removal form work. And second one is reduction of required period of curing because the it sets fastly and this will also give you hardened property earlier compared to the normal concrete and earlier placement of the structure in service because it sets fastly and hardens also and earlier finishing of the surface due to the accelerators quick repairs to existing concrete with the using of the accelerators so it is possible that the quick repairs with the use of the accelerator so these are the benefits you can get with using of the accelerators thank you